Hey guys, Mike here with We Watched Movie, and today is the day of darkness. It's Man vs. Movie Day, and if you haven't seen the show before, we did it with Planet of the Apes. We watched a series of films in one day, back to back to back, with no sleeps, and uh, you see if you can make it through it. I'm going to review each movie right after I watch it, and you're going to see me deteriorate as the day goes on. So for your enjoyment, and for my pain, uh, it's gonna be a bad, bad day. Actually, it's gonna be a good day because I've got you guys here to go through it with me, or at least watch me. And uh, here we go. Let's uh, let's let's open this bitch up and, and see what's inside. So here it is, the darkness that is. You got the ugly, smudge face, leprechaun who's gonna haunt my day and my dreams afterwards. Seven films of pain about to happen. I haven't seen these movies since I was a kid. I only remember the first Leprechaun and maybe Leprechaun in the Hood just for kicks on like a late night HBO. First time all seven films are available on Blu-ray, so that's, you know, whatever. How do you open your Blu-rays? Because I'm not very good at it. Just, I'm gonna fucking manhandle you. And get what you deserve. And it's too late now. I can't just take this back. I can't change it. Go away, plastic. So, the complete movie collection. God damn it. Ah, yes. There it is. Somebody wants the, the codage. And nothing really special inside of here. I actually am kind of disappointed in the fact that I actually opened it, but what do I expect? It's fucking Leprechaun. So one and two are on the same disc with some special features that it doesn't mention. Uh, we'll see what those are when we pop it in. Uh, disc two, Leprechaun three, Leprechaun four, in space. Fuck me. Uh, more special features and then finally Leprechaun Origins which I heard sucks bean sacks uh, but we'll see so nothing special in the case no pots of gold under the never mind um so let's fucking pop let's pop it in plug it in plug it in are you not entertained uh oh this isn't cast piracy right Disappointed! Alright, well let's at least look at the special features on this fucker. Uh... Huh? They're two separate audio commentaries. The Leprechaun Chronicles Part 1 Beginner's Luck. Now that might be interesting. Like, who the fuck decided to make a movie about a leprechaun? That's Leprechaun 1 special hikers. And then, uh, Leprechaun 2, another commentary with the director, Rodman Flinder, a classic, right up there with Scorsese. And then the Leprechaun Chronicles Part 2, A Second Chance. That bodes well for the first one. And then another trailer in a still gallery. So hey, at least you got a little making of for each one. And uh, now I'm going to step under the rainbow and into the darkness and grab my pot of gold. And it's going to not have chocolates inside, but probably a whole bucket of fuck. Uh, my fuck bucket is full, and I'm ready to begin. Fuck. Oh, God. Try as they may and try as they might, he who steals me gold is dead on sight or something. I don't know. Finished the first Leprechaun movie. Wow. Wow. It's, it's gonna be a really long day. Oh. Oh, it looks like you're hurt. It's a really, really bad movie. But it's got awesome stuff in it, too. Like, I love the Leprechaun. That little bastard is awesome. Played by Warwick Davis, who I watched a few minutes of the documentary about the movie right afterward, which I'm not going to do for all of them because fuck me, it's seven movies already. But I just wanted to see a little bit of the behind the scenes stuff. And it's some really interesting stuff. Warwick Davis was Willow, and he's badass in this movie. The Leprechaun is fucking awesome. It, it still kind of freaks me out. Like, the movie doesn't, but just the Leprechaun, just the shit he says and, like, the, the creepy, surreal way that he kills people like he killed someone with the freaking pogo stick and that shouldn't be scary but it is because that's like the kind of weird dream that you have You're like oh god i can't move my arms and legs and there's a leprechaun jumping on me with a pogo stick i know i'm fucked up and the quotes and the one-liners in this movie holy shit fuck you lucky charms are you kidding me that was awesome jennifer aniston in her first movie role ever is like a valley girl her dad forced her to move out in the middle of nowhere the leprechaun comes back for his gold and he's buried in this crate which jennifer aniston and her family move in Problems? Do you need a hand? 
and there's a there's a couple of painters that are working on the house and then they all get chased by this leprechaun after they find his gold because leprechaun wants his gold and he's gonna kill everybody until they have it but one of the stupid painters which uh ozzy in this movie it was i guess it was okay in the 80s and 90s to like take slow people or people with like sort of mental problems and uh use them as comedic relief uh, i don't my, my ear. He, he got my ear. And the rest of this movie is so hard to watch. Whenever that little fucker's not on screen, it is just so boring and just, and you can't help but think, this is why I'm not, I'm watching a movie about a killer fucking leprechaun right now. Where has me life gone? If, if you have a kid that doesn't like have bad dreams, so just a little bit older, but still like, you know, a kid, I don't know about. If you have a kid that, that doesn't have bad dreams, that isn't really scared of scary movies and stuff like this, let him watch this. Because as a kid, this would freak me the hell out. Leprechaun scares me more than Chucky does. Not the movies. The Chucky movies are scarier. But just the Leprechaun in himself. Because he's so nasty. And it's like, uh, with like the Chucky doll, you feel like you just, you just kick him really far. And with the Leprechaun, he's just, he's so scary looking. It would throw you off for a second. And you kick him, but he does, nothing hurts him. So he just keeps coming. And then he bites you. And it's just like, fuck. I don't know, it, it, it's a scary thought. I, I guess I'm scared of leprechauns. There's something scary as shit about that little fucking leprechaun. The acting's not that bad, but the characters are written so shittily. And the director's the same guy who wrote it. It's the first movie he directed. I didn't think he even did that bad of a job directing it, except for the extreme boringness of the movie when, you know, leprechaun's not on screen. This is right when the home video market's coming out. So they wanted to make something that that could be scary and funny, but would take off on home video. So that's why they had the crazy idea to make a horror leprechaun movie. But yeah, the guy apparently had no say in anything. The studio was up his ass and being assholes about it the whole time. So that typical story, he had to kind of do what they wanted. And they went back and shot extra gore scenes, which I'm kind of glad they did in this case, because the gore in the movie is actually done really well. The makeup and the special effects are awesome. On the leprechaun, and then the death scenes are really cool. Oh, <laughs> The characters are just so stupid. At one point, they come back from the hospital, and the whole house has been ransacked because he's looking for me gold. And he takes their shoes and puts them on the table because he's a leprechaun, and he's gonna bite your ear and turn it into a shoe, a boot. Um, Canadian. All the shoes are on the table. Then the painter guy, Nathan, who looks like Kevin Bacon and Trimmers with his sleeveless purple button up shirt on top of a white beater, is like, could have been a bear. A bear fucking came in this house and took all your shoes and put them together on the table and ate the Lucky Charms. Okay, the Lucky Charms part makes sense, but are you fucking serious? Like, someone wrote that and didn't go back to erase it. But then again, it is a movie about a killer leprechaun, so who gives a shit? 5.5 for me, it's above average, just because that little bastard leprechaun freaks me out and makes me laugh at the same time, and Warwick Davis was absolutely super badass in that role as the killer leprechaun. So, that's my rating for the first leprechaun. I am so dreading, though these next movies because knowing that that's as good as it gets like that is the prime that's as, that's the best it's going to happen for me today I think i'm probably going to start drinking around movie three or four so that's going to be fun and uh here we go with uh leprechaun 2 so fuck me and uh see you later you only got away because me powers a week me needs me gold we watched a movie yeah we watched a movie